Welcome to another PRDV Entertainment Tutorial for the Unreal Engine 4. If you get lost on the tutorial because of some options or things that you don't understand, feel free to search on our channel for our playlists of tutorials and dummy lessons for the Unreal Engine 4. Thanks for being part of PRDV Entertainment YouTube channel. Hi guys, this is Inyo from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome to another dummy lesson for the Unreal Engine 4. Now, in this dummy lesson, I'm going to teach you guys how to work with Boolean variables. Um, okay, what is a Boolean variable? First of all, uh, you can use these variables to compare if something is true or not. It's something like the branch. No, it's something that you can use it to compare. But with the Boolean variable, has for the value of a, ch a checkbox that you can check that box to say if it's going to be true or if you don't check the box it's going to be saying that it's not true that it's false so I'm just going to add two keys here it's going to be the left mouse button the space bar we're going to add two boolean variables they're going to be uh, one variable is going to be for the mouse button and the other one is going to be for the space bar key and we're going to compare those two keys every time they are pressed when they are uh, when there is only one key press or when they are both pressed down and how we can compare that using the branch so we can have two different options for the truth and for the false so we can show it on the screen with a print text function now let's do it some let's do it really quick i feel a little bit sick today i've got the flu and feel like shit um let's let's create two variables here it's going to be booleans so I'm going to put the first one it's going to be left mouse button there we go and for the other one it's going to be space bar key okay so I'm going to set this on public I always do that <laughs> something just automatic um, okay so First, let's get our event. It's going to be the left mouse button here and the space bar. There we go. <coughs> so from here, we will drag our two variables, the space bar one and the left mouse button variable. And we're going to connect the nodes with each corresponding event. Now, as you can see, let me compile so you can see what happens. And the properties, as you can see, we got a checkbox here. From here, you tell, you're just going to be telling if it's true or not. Same as here when you set the variable on the event graph. If you check the box, you're telling it's true. And if it's unchecked, then it's false. But for this, we're going to check these two. I am not going to be using functions or anything at all. I'm just going to be working here on the event graph just to make something really simple, quick, and something clean without going into so many places. Okay, so now that we have the variables already set as they are true, now what do we need to do? Let me see what we can do. I told you guys that we're going to be using the print text function. Okay, so first of all, let's so let's get a branch because I'm I'm going I'm going to create two different options. Just search for branch and connect the two variables with the branch. And now let's compare these two variables that we have to set so we can mm, boolean equal to boolean. So we can say we can search uh compare to see if they are both pressed down or only just one is pressed down and the other one is not. So I'm going to put this one on the bottom and this one on the top here. And for the result, it's going to be connecting with the condition of the branch. From here, the branch will know if both are being pressed down or not because it has to be equal. If it's true, it's going to print text and it's going to say on the text both keys are down. Now we still gotta wait, work with something here every time we release those keys but I'm gonna show you guys something first that you need to know. Now let's add a print text for the false. Let's say press the other key. Okay let's compile 
let's get into the game now if I press the key he's he's telling me to press the other one so if I press the other one he says the keys are down but I'm not pressing my left mouse button now why is saying that is already down because every time that you press the key only once it will always say that it's already down that's gonna be true on both keys now how you can evade that so every time that you re you release the key or the mouse button it goes uh, to false so we can compare if it's still pressed down or not let's go inside to our event graph once again now on the release here of each key we need to set our keys once again our variables my bad our variables but this time we're gonna connect them with the release of the nodes now this one is for the mouse yeah and this one is for the spacebar now for this we're gonna leave it unchecked because we're gonna be telling that every time it, it gets released it's not gonna be true so it's gonna be false it, it's not gonna be pressed down okay so now let's try it out okay press the other key if I press the other one it's still telling me that I need to press the other key so we need to press the both keys at the same time so if I left the mouse button down as you can see on my screen with the mouse icon if I press now the space bar it will tell that both keys are down. If I release the mouse and keep pressing the space bar, he's telling me to press the other one. So now if I leave the space bar pressed down and I press the, the mouse button, he's telling me that both keys are down. That is really, that's something that you can use maybe for a fighting game. If you want to create like a, a power for your fighter, stuff like that, that you want to use multiple uh, keys or buttons on the gamepad uh, you know you can do a couple of stuff you just need to work uh, a little bit more with the body wall it has a lot of options that you can do a lot of stuff and always remember to use the branch It's really useful for the boolean variables on this case um this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment hit the like or the dislike if it helped or not comment and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe uh, you will be up to date with all the videos I upload for you guys and I think I'm still gonna create a couple of more tutorials just to upload them today and they are gonna be only dummy lessons because the tutorial for the Unreal, uh, Unreal Engine 4 for complete tutorials is gonna be tomorrow Sunday well guys if anything just comment on the box and I'll, I'll catch you guys up bye